Hello YouTube. Hey guys. Happy Saturday. It's been a little bit since I made a video, so thought I would uh, get on here and uh, do an updated video, talk about a few things, and um, smoke a pipe while I'm doing it. Hopefully I can keep it burning. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to try this one without the music blaring so that hopefully anyone in other countries uh, can will be able to watch the video. Um, I, I had some problems with uh, not really copyright infringement, but it, it just got blocked because they could recognize the music. So I've just got my local uh, Tampa Bay radio station playing over here on the background. And uh, let me light my pipe again. Mm. OMS pipes. This is a beautiful thing, baby. And what am I smoking? Of course, I'm smoking my OMS pipes Dublin. What am I smoking in it? Little GL piece uh, sextant. Uh, I haven't tried one of Greg's blends yet that I don't like. Um, he makes he blends up some awesome stuff. What am I drinking? McDonald's. Iced tea, you can get it worldwide, I think. Anywho. So what I wanna do in this video, I've got a, a package opening I'm gonna do, as well as I thought I would take a little bit of time and um, talk about my pipeline that I'm trying to get started. Um, so are you ready? Here we go. Booyah! This is pipe number three um, since I've started making them. And as you can see, this right here and this is made from elk antler. Uh, me being a guy that likes to carve tamps out of bone, hey, I decided to stick with it. It's my gig. Um, so I'll give you a little idea of about how big it is. Um, you know, it's got a nice. I'll go into the specs here in just a moment, but cork the bottom with a, um, or plug the bottom with a plug of wood, kind of made along the lines of like a Missouri Meacham, their style of pipe making. So they smoke good. They do not have a taste. Once you uh, uh, run a few bowls of your uh, favorite tobacco through it, you don't you don't get anything. At first, you may get a like a clovery taste is the best way for me to describe it. But after you smoke about three bowls through it, it gets a little char cake build up on the bowl. That all goes away. Um, so there's no worries there. A lot of people are concerned. Oh well, it's it's animal. Well, it's all natural. It's all natural. It's it's just as natural as smoking from a wooden pipe or a clay pipe. Those are all natural elements. They're gonna smoke differently in their own way. But let's get back to this though. This little pipe is from its widest point up here to the bit is a total length of four and three quarter inches long. It's got a two inch bowl from top to bottom, highest point to resting base, and it does set flat. It is a sitter, by the way. Um, the bowl depth, is one and a half inches by three quarter inches. So it's got a pretty good size bowl on it. I did a 532nd draft hole on the shank. So this one actually right here is already sold. This is uh, Swamp Piper 84's pipe. And um, I'll be getting that out to him soon. Um, so that is what 2366 pipes at this time look like. I still yet have uh, dis not decided if I want to call it John's Pipes, Pipes by John, or JWK 2366, but I'm thinking the 2366 kind of has a cool sound to it myself. So, haven't nothing's in stone yet as far as the name of my. Uh, pipe company. I do like to try to individualize them and uh, you know give each one a name um, but you know it, because it's all a piece of art when you stop and think about it. And if I sound like I've been 
drinking gin and smoking pop malls all night, it's because I got a head cold. I'm fighting with a head cold and it's not fun. I'm not digging it. But I got meds on board, staying hydrated, and I'm taking antipyretics for any low grade fever that might be around. So without further ado, let's get into this Yabo. All right. This is a package from the D.E. Piper here on YouTube. Some of you guys know him as uh, Rick Cornell. Rick's a friend of mine, and I have no idea what the hell Rick has sent me. Holy shit. Uh -oh, I've got a bro note. I see that. Oh, what was I using? Handy Dandy Kershaw. I'm getting rusty at this. I got to do these more often. All right, let's read the bro note first. Oh, nice handwriting. Okay, it's dated January 13th. Dear John, this is a Dear John letter. <laughs> Enclosed, you will find some things I hope you will enjoy. You've inspired me to try my hand at carving bone, but I'll just say that is better left to the master. That was very kind, Rick. So I'm sending you some uh, carving bits and some pieces of bone along with an antler. If you can't use it, please feel free to pass it along to a fellow carver that is starting out in the hobby. I also wanted to say thank you for sending me some tobaccos. I thought you might enjoy, along with a couple of personalized leather goods that I made. Finally, there is one last gift that didn't make it in the box for Christmas. You had mentioned that you hoped Santa would bring you a Yeti tumbler as soon as his elves get off their lazy asses from vacation and quit causing a back order, then there will be one sent to you. I hope you have it. I hope to have it to you before Christmas, but they didn't come in time. I love mine and I thought it would be a perfect for those warm nights out on the Red Tail Saloon. Stay tuned. Your friend Rick, D.E. Piper. Oh, awesome. So who knows? Let's get up here. Let me put it in my lap and stop shaking the camera. Oh, shit. Oh, cool. I will definitely recycle those little pillows. Oh, Rick sent some cigars. Ooh, nice. Some nice, five nice sticks. Awesome. Oh, hell. C&D Burley Flake number three. Hadn't tried that one yet. I will definitely be trying that. Boswell's Railroad Station. That's got my... Ooh, man, that smells like some old-fashioned plug-type tobacco. Let me get this pipe lit again. Ooh, I will be trying that. I've got a barbecue and a birthday uh, party I'm going to this afternoon, so I'll definitely be, tr excuse me, sitting and smoking my pipe and enjoying these tobaccos, Rick. Oh my goodness, that's a little slice of heaven right there, man. Dunhill, BB1938. Good Lord, Rick, man, you set the hook up, bro. Peterson's Irish Oak. I haven't ever tried that. Uh, yummy, 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 yummy. Smells awesome. Oh, shit, Rick did some some bone. Awesome. I think he's hinting that make me a tamp, dude. <laughs> cool beans. Yeah, I could put that to use. I definitely can put that to use. Yep, that's the kind that I get. I get this brand and another brand. Um, usually I find these at Tractor Supply. Oh, what? oh man. Oh, oh, Rick, dude, this right here 
when I get around to making your pipe, this is going to be the stem on your pipe, brother. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put a note on that. That is Rick Cornell's stem. God dang, man, that's got some beautiful grain on it, bruh. And it's straight, it's cylindrical, won't have to modify that hardly at all. That is awesome. Oh, cool beans, man. Hell's bells. I never have enough of these things. Rick, man, that's awesome. Thanks, brother. Awesome. Yeah, I can always make use of these bad boys. And some handmade leather items by Mr. D.E. Piper himself. Let's take a look. Oh, shit. That is nice. You know what? I think... Most of you probably would think that that is like a key ring to wear around your belt, but it will also double as a pipe rest. Whether you knew that, Rick, or whether that was your intention, that's bad as hell, and he even put my initials on it, man. That is bad as hell. I will cherish this for a long time to come. Oh, man. Got a little matching business card wallet <laughs> that is too cool man Rick you're pretty damn good at the leathersmith stuff man you should uh stick with that bro yeah man that's just when you just slide that bad boy in your front pocket you got your ID you got your you know your credit cards that you need and you know maybe your insurance card for your truck boom you're out the door man not a big hassle not a bunch of shit to pack in it Rick man I am dude it's Christmas in January. I am so freaking excited, man. This right here, damn, and that brass on that, that's a heavy mofro right there, man. That is bad as hell right there, brother. I love that, man. That is awesome. Thanks, Rick. Much love, brother. I appreciate that. That's awesome, man. Wow. Let's see what kind of cigars these are. Okay. So... If that blanked out, that was because my phone battery is low. So what I was saying before that blank, let's see what kind of cigars these are. And hopefully it did not stop anything, which it did not. Ooh, a Rocky Patel Sun Grown. Oh yeah, daddy's gonna smoke that one this evening. Five Vegas. Ooh, smells great, man. Nika Rustica. I can't hardly smell shit with this head cold, but I'm sure they smell awesome. Okay. This just looks like a um, an everyday smoker. A couple of uh, nice ones. No brand. Think I can't smell them. I think they smell good. I'm not 100% sure. Like I said, my freaking head is like feel like I don't really feel like I got my head in a bucket, but it's um, not far from there. All right, guys. Well, hey, I'm sorry. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for uh, listening to me. Thanks for being here with me when I opened up D.E. Piper's gift. Uh, Rick, much love and thanks again. You guys be sure to get yourself an OMS Dublin. It's a beautiful thing. They're beautiful pipes. Um, and hell, once I get up and running, contact me and... Uh, you know on Instagram and I'll uh, be glad to make you one of my antler pipes um, so if you're interested hit me up if not thanks for stopping by and hanging out with us um, you guys have a good one we'll see you next time see ya